You know, you've only got one more person to learn about. We've started to learn a little bit. Beat my record. Hey, um, you forgot your goggles. <laughs> Thanks. It's Zoe, right? You work at the deli on campus? Sorry, that's not me. No, I recognize you. You make the best meatball subs. That other guy, he's so stingy with the marinara. I don't work there anymore. Oh, sorry. Look, that thing you were doing in the water. Can I ask what it's about, holding your breath like that? Some people meditate. I sink to the bottom of the pool. One of these days, I'm gonna get to two minutes. Wow, that sounds intense. Why do you do it? It's the only place I get any peace. Oh, that's... I should be getting home. Look, I know we don't know each other. Help. My mom got sick a few years ago. I was spending every night in the hospital with her, worrying whether she'd make it. And all my friends wanted to talk about was homework and boys. There was nobody around me. Until I realized there was always someone ready to listen. Did you just see that? The guy in the hoodie? I don't see anyone. But the Lord works in mysterious ways. So, I talked to Mima. What? When we were changing the license plate, I called to check on her. Did you tell her any... No, no, I just wanted to hear her voice. Are you sure you're up for this? Huh? Hiking over the border? <laughs> I hate hiking. But 
Hey, guess it's time to be flexible. I'm gonna be a wanted criminal now. You're not a criminal. You're just helping a friend. Did you watch the OJ trial? The what? <laughs> OJ Simpson? All-American football player accused of murdering his wife because she screwing some waiter? I don't really watch TV. Huh. Well, the point is, nobody's what they seem, you know? Like, huh? what are we capable of? Are we all just killers waiting for our switches to get flipped? We're capable, sure, if there's a reason. More on the manhunt for the Desert Dream Killers, who first robbed the Two Rock County Sheriff's House, then took shelter at a motel that turned into the scene of a... Wait, was that you? Yeah, but I don't want to hear. I do. Describe Jay Holt as an awkward, quiet high school dropout. Uh, they say it like dropping out's a crime. Halt also has an accomplice, 16-year-old Vanessa Dorland, who is assumed to be armed and dangerous. If you see either of these violent criminals, please call 911 and make... I'm sorry you got pulled into all this. I wasn't pulled. I chose. I just... I need a minute, okay? Sure. Okay. Okay, don't stress. We'll figure this out. Morning, you two. Everything okay, officer? Just running a sobriety checkpoint here, looking for any intoxicated drivers coming back from that River Palooza music festival. Were you there? No, sir. We're just passing through. Can I ask where you're coming from? We're from San Francisco. We're driving cross country. Strange route you're taking. You don't have California plates. Oh, it was his aunt's car. She lived here in Montana before she died. So we're here to visit his uncle. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh-huh. Anyway, if I could just see your license and registration, you'll be on your way. Sure. Just a sec. Where is it? Well, it's against the law to drive in Montana without a valid driver's license. I'm really sorry, officer. I'll need to run the plates. Dispatch, need you to run some plates for me. Montana, three, Papa, two, one, five, seven, Tango. Shit. He's gonna find out any second. What, again? Well, can't you run it manually? We need to get out of here. I can explain. <sighs> Goddamn database is down again. There's a sneak peek of Y2K for you. All right. I'm gonna let you off with a warning. Next time, bring your license along for the ride. 
I will, officer. Go on, get out of here. Hey, Dad. How's the, um, new plane? Oh, you are gonna love it. So much quieter than the old one. So, um, you okay? It was my birthday on Sunday, and you usually call. Oh, Dad. I'm sorry. It's just... The thing is, I... Gotta make a good impression on the boss, huh? I get it. So how about I drop by the deli tomorrow, we grab a couple of those free sandwiches. That might be... tricky. Why? Everything's cool at work, right? To be honest, Dad... Things... didn't really work out for me with the job. Meaning what? You quit? More like... got let go. Ah, oh, Zoe... What will you do? Oh, I've, I've got a few things lined up. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> Zoe? Sorry. Uh, Dad, I gotta go. Is that? Jesus. Hmm? <sighs> Tell me I'm awake this time. <sighs> Come on. Think. Where did you put them? there.
Hello? Hey, Grandpa. Zoe! I know it's late, but I could use a friendly ear right now. Do you mind if I come over? Oh, uh, thing is, I, I, I've run into a little, uh, situation here. What kind of situation? Mr. Walker! I'll be there in ten. It's like I told you, I can't have tenants damaging the building. And I told you, I didn't damage a damn thing. Uh -huh. Mr. Walker, I really don't want to get into another argument. Uh -huh. Hey there, Zeusy, old boy. Zoe, thank God you're here. Now, please tell this woman I have a right to the quiet enjoyment of my own home. Huh. Quiet enjoyment? You vandalized your front door. Okay, slow down. What happened? Somebody broke in and stole my wallet. Uh, no. Hmm. You misplaced your wallet, and you broke your own front door. Zoe, someone was here. I saw him lurking in the shadows. Did you get a good look at him? Was he wearing a black hoodie? Oh, uh... uh maybe? I, I, I don't quite remember. You don't remember because it didn't happen. Hmm. I'll tell you what did. Your grandfather wandered outside in his robe for the third time this month. When he realized he didn't have his keys, he broke the door to get back in. That is not true. I wanted some air, so I... I took a walk, and, uh... And I, I saw someone, and, uh... I, and then the next thing I know, I'm arguing with, with Shelby here. That's not even my name. Yeah. Zoe, I know this is painful to hear, but your grandfather is declining. He needs a nurse or an assisted living oh, home. Oh, God or... damn it. I don't need assisted anything. We obviously have very different interpretations of what happened. Still... Somebody will have to pay for that door. Don't you have some kind of insurance? It's his front door. He broke it. Huh? He pays for it. Uh. Can you believe that woman? Assisted living. She sounds just like your dad with that garbage. Hmm. Don't tell Shelby. Hmm. But I know I didn't break my darn because I keep a spare key under the mat. You do? Isn't that kind of unsafe? You want to hide something where no one will find it? Stick it right under their noses. How are you doing, kiddo? Anything new? Me? I'm fine. Oh, you don't look fine. You look like you just got back from a war. How you been sleeping? Didn't have a bad night for months. Until the nightmare started creeping back. Now, I'm scared to fall asleep. Oh, Zoe. You were doing better a few months ago. Did something set you back? It doesn't matter. Oh. Seriously. So? I got fired. Missed too many shifts. I told Dad. You can imagine how that went down. Mm, like the Titanic, I expect. Well... Maybe it's a blessing in disguise. You always talked about being an investigative journalist. Why don't you go get a degree? I don't know, Grandpa. I just want to wake up on a beach somewhere. No one around. Walk out into the ocean. And disappear under the waves. No, you don't. Take him on someone who's been a pro at running away. Wherever you run, your problems run after you. Hang on. 
Where's my tablet computery thing? Oh, no. Those bastards. I got that for my 74th. Mind if I look around a little? Maybe I can figure out who stole your stuff. Be my guest. Remind me, where were you when this guy broke in? Just down the hall, I think. Sometimes I water those petunias on the shared windowsill. I thought you said you were taking a walk? Oh, uh, I was. <laughs> or I was going to, anyway. So, you're still going to the pool? I spend so much time there, I'm growing fins. <laughs> hey, go car. Was this yours? Once upon a time, drove that puppy all around the country. Why'd you get rid of it? Oh, you know, couldn't afford the upkeep. Wow. Law books, medical books. Is this all from when you were a traveling salesman? Salesman? Yeah, you told me you used to. Wasn't that your job? Kid, back then you could say I was a jack of all trades. I think the only real job I ever had was convincing people I was someone else. You know you've had the exact same couch my entire life? Bought that thing back in 98, the week after, you know, when we came to St. Louis. And it just keeps getting comfier. Grandpa. Oh, there it is. Huh. Glad they didn't take that too. Mm. Not that it matters. All I know how to do with it is play solitaire. Grandpa? Are you sure you didn't break the door yourself? God. How can I be sure of something I can't remember? Have you never gone into a room, forgotten why you came in? Haven't you ever misplaced or lost something? You know I've lost plenty. I don't want to lose you too. Shelby's right. It's getting worse. Places, dates, the school I went to. It's like someone's slowly packing my memories into boxes and none of them have labels on. Can you imagine how that feels? to think about the past some things are a blessing you must think I made this whole damn mess up actually someone's been following me too I think what earlier at the pool and then tonight at my apartment I, I thought I saw someone but I don't know if it's even real I feel like we're both losing our minds. Good God. Zoe, look. I know you went through hell as a kid, losing your mom like that. And I know you sometimes think it drove you half crazy. Seriously. You don't need to remind me. I know I don't. But that's what I'm trying to say. Hmm? I don't think you are crazy at all. Because if you were, how could we both be seeing the same thing? 
Grandpa? Either we're both losing our marbles, or... Or what? No. It's impossible. It's okay. I'm here. I was fine. I was fucking fine. And then one little trigger and bam! It all came roaring back again. Oh, the two of us. Me trying to remember you. Trying to forget. I don't want to forget. I just want to not care. How do I do that? How do I make the past leave me alone when I keep seeing it everywhere I go? I guess you just need to stand up and face it. <sighs> Look it in the eye and see this thing for what it is. If the past talks to you, you listen. And when it's done, then maybe you'll be free. I wish I had another layer on. It's gonna be beautiful once we get some altitude. What's the furthest you've ever hiked? I did the two rocks of two rock once. <laughs> Don't laugh, it was hard. Come on, we got a lot of ground to cover. Tell you a secret? I've never left Arizona before. Tell me when I'm not about to collapse. I promise I'll care. Here. <sighs> You'd be going a lot faster without me. I'd be going nowhere without you. Give me your hands. Uh, teamwork. I don't get it. I'm cold and wet. My legs hurt like I've been in double gym all week. And you're the energizer bunny, just <laughs> going and going. How do you do it? Been doing this all my life. You've been doing it since lunch. Okay. Yeah, true. I'll get the hang of it. Ugh. 
my god. It's even more beautiful than I imagined. Sometimes at home, around sunset, me and my mom used to walk out into the desert. And on a hot day, if there was enough haze, the sun would just bloom like a giant fireball on the horizon. Was it better than this? Just different company. Hey, you're bleeding. Shit. I didn't even feel this happen. Let me see. <laughs> there. That's better. Glad you know what you're doing. So, how do we get over the border? We're gonna have to swim. Won't it be cold? Freezing, probably. But it's good for you. Wakes you up. Way better than coffee. Mm. Ah. <gasps> Get down. Uh. Vanessa? Are you there? It's me. It's Dad. Dad? What are you doing here? Do you know? Do you have any idea who you run away with? His name's Jay. I know all about what happened at the motel, and honestly, I don't care. Vanessa. This isn't right. How did he find us? If you know who he is, then you know he's a murderer. He killed cops, Vanessa. He's going to death row. You have no idea what you're talking about. I didn't do any of that. They got the story wrong. Look, I don't even care. I just want my daughter back. It's never happening, Dad. That part of my life is over. <sighs> She's not gonna turn on him. We stick with plan A. Jay Holt, you are under arrest on the authority of the FBI. I'll admit, you nearly gave us a slip. That ranger in the entry kiosk earned his paycheck today. Now I got a whole team of federal agents here, so this is where it ends, Jay. I'm not letting you people send me to die. Have a clear shot. Uh. Let's go! Come on! Go! Go! down there past the lake we gotta jump off this vanessa wait stay back dad you jump you die you'll never make it we might you don't know vanessa whatever you think about me you were my little girl once slept on my chest walked on my feet when is the last time you said you love me 
I'll give you a clue. It was never. Okay. I'm bad at saying it. I'm bad at a lot. After your mom died, I didn't know how to. I'd say left, you kids would go right. The more I tried, the more you both hated me. And then Matt went off the rails, and I... I know you think I'm a monster, but I do love you, Vanessa. If you say we can survive this, then I believe you. But let's just do it before I change my mind. then on three one two wait dad yeah honey tell mima there's an extra pack of cigarettes under the sink no vanessa don't no Sure, this is the spot? It's not on the trail map. I'm good. Thank you. My God, Zoe. Hi, Jay. I wasn't even sure you got the letters. One a month, ever since March. You know you're still wanted by the FBI, right? How did you even find me? The post office. I had your P.O. box number, and they helped me with the rest. People are nice here. Yeah, they are. You look so different. I knew you'd grown up, but in my mind, you're still that scared little kid. You look older, too. Huh. More than I expected. Well, 14 years outside will do that to you. Hey, come sit down. I got a chair on the patio, and I promise... You won't need that pepper spray. Nice view. I used to think so. I've seen it a lot. It's so strange that you're here. Thought about you and your family so much over the years. So you said. In your letters. I tried not to think about yours. But I never had much luck at that. <sighs> oh. Is that girl still here? The one you ran away with? No. No, she's gone. I have a lot of questions. About your life and 
Go for it. I don't have anywhere to be. Her name was Vanessa, right? Can I ask what happened? We spent six years together, me and her. Slept outside when it was warm. Used to read books to each other by the fire. <laughs> but in the end, uh, I guess she missed normal life. I think she's in California now. I'm just grateful for the time we had. You know, the world thought you were dead after you jumped off that cliff. We almost were. I blacked out when I hit the water. Vanessa pulled me to shore. Spent weeks on foot after that. Had some lucky breaks with the weather, but we only made it because we had each other. Do you ever hear from your family? Nah. Ma left the country, I think. Don't know where. Tyler wasn't so lucky. He's on death row in Arizona. My pa and I sent letters a few times. But he said it was too dangerous for me. So that stopped too. And that's it. It's just me now. I don't remember you having a scar before. Oh, I used to explore a lot in the early days. One time I came across a bear that I thought was hurt. Turns out she had just had cubs. Lesson learned. In all these years, you've never been recognized? I had some close calls in town. But you don't really know. You just feel people looking. So now I don't go far. Library, the market, that's about it. So why'd you come here, Zoe? You said you wanted to talk. I said I wanted you to write. But you came in person. Why? I keep seeing your face and my dreams out on the streets. And? And I knew if I didn't come look you in the eye. That you couldn't move on. If you want to talk about it, I might understand better than most. And I'm good at listening. That night, when you took me upstairs and the power went out. Do you remember? Of course. I was just as scared as you. You said, don't make a sound. And it's like, I've been holding my breath ever since. When all I really want to do is scream and scream and never stop. I was just trying to get you quiet. The cops were breaking in. I didn't want you to get hurt. I know. I didn't say it made sense. You know what the two of us have in common? We both got dealt a shitty hand and spent the rest of our lives trying not to fold. You and me, we're a lot alike. Maybe in some ways. <coughs> Jay, why, why'd you start writing me? I told you, there's a lot I never got to talk about. I know, but why me? You said you see my face at night. Sometimes I see yours too. All these years later, you'd think I'd be able to move on, but I never have. You must hate me. After everything my family did to you,
Jay, I won't lie. Seeing you isn't easy. You were part of my mom's death. I've been afraid of this moment for a very long time. But... You also looked out for me that night. I can't pretend I don't remember that, too. How can you be so forgiving? Because if I let myself hate you, then I'm lost. I know the feeling. Jay. Are you okay? I mean, are you really okay? I always told myself I got dragged into it. That my family was just pushing me around. But like you said, I took people's lives. Do you think I'm bad? Am I... Am I broken? You gave a scared little girl her stuffed owl back. No one bad and broken would have done that. You remember that? Of course. You shouldn't have been there. You were just a kid. So were you. Oh. Oh, I should get back down to the bus stop. Wait. I, I was going to make dinner soon. Do you want some? Jay, I, I don't know. It's rabbit. And it's beautiful here at sunset. Rabbit, huh? Ah. They're so good, braised. Show you how if you like. I am kind of hungry. <laughs> The thing about shadows is, you can't escape them. You just learn to keep them behind you and look toward the light. Why are some of us able to grow and change? While others have their time on Earth cut short. Why do some of us find ways to endure? <laughs> While others just wither on the vine. I don't know the answers, but I know I'm done running from shadows. Nobody's chasing me. Nobody ever was. Hey, Zoe. Uh, it's Grandpa. I was thinking about our conversation the other day about facing up to things, and uh, there's something I never told anyone. That day in Two Rock, when I suggested we take the scenic route, there was a reason. I'd been there before, you see. Everything that came afterward, uh, does dream, all of it, I think it was all my fault. Calm down and make the season yourself, okay? Tell him he can have it. It's all in two hours.